This was a, a positive study that was reported at ASCO a few years ago. Um, but what we've done this year is actually look back at our, the patients who have a, a BRCA1 or 2 mutation um, in, in that study. And in that subgroup, there's an even better, um, a, a, a LAPRA has even better efficacy. So we've seen um, an 82% reduction in the risk of disease progression. And that's almost a seven month improvement in median progression free survival for those patients. Um, <coughs> what we've also seen is that that benefit is maintained beyond the first uh, disease progression um, and actually seems to be turning into a trend in overall survival as well, although there was some confounding of that overall survival data because some patients on placebo went on to receive another PARP inhibitor um, subsequently. So, um, so although the, 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 the study was positive initially, uh, it, in the overall patient population, we'd already seen that there was about a three-month improvement in progression-free survival. By looking at this subset of patients with a BRCA1 or 2 mutation, we can see that the effect of alaprib is, is even greater and more clinically meaningful. Um, and that, that really points us in the direction for the, you know, for the future development of alaprib.